Hello children. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to do factorization of algebraic expression using common factors method. So in our last lesson, we learned what is factorization of an algebraic expression and we took example of an expression with single term. So that was pretty simple. This time we are going to take an expression with multiple terms that is separated by addition or subtraction sign. So let's take an example. Let's say we are given this algebraic expression with two terms. One term as 6p and another term as 3. So they are separated by plus or minus sign. In this case it is plus sign. So 6p is one term and 3 is another term. So this is an algebraic expression which we need to do factorization. That is make it into a product of its factors. And each factor can be a constant or a variable or a term itself. So right now, first we need to see how can we break each term into its factors. So to start with 6p, put a bracket and 6 can be represented as its own factors which are 2 into 3 and 6p so it is 2 into 3 into p. If you, if you do it reverse way it's 2 into 3 is 6, 6 into p is 6p. So this is the factorization of this term. And 3 is simple, 3, we can just write 3 or 3 into 1, right? So this is the first step where we took each term and reduced it to its irreducible form, that is its product of its factors. 6p is 2 into 3 into p and 3 is 3 into 1. What are the common things you can see between these two terms separated by plus sign? We see 3 as the common, see 2 is not here is not here so 3 is the only common thing between the two terms right do you remember the distributive law which we learned in our earlier lessons let me revise you a into b plus a into c what is common here a is common can be written as a into bracket p plus c right a into b plus a into c is equal to a into b plus c right so we can apply the same law here also the distributive law as we can see 3 is common here so can we reduce it further we can let's see how so 6p plus 3 is where we started and we came to this step 2 into 3 into p plus 3 right so 3 is common 3 or 3 into 1 so what do we do we mark 3 and you may be thinking, oh, what did I do here? It's nothing. We know by the commutative law, 2 into 3 into p can be written as 3 into 2 into p or p into 2 into 3 anyways because a into b is equal to b into a, right? So what I have done here and why I wrote it this way so that you can very clearly see, oh, 3 is now common. It's the first thing. It's common. Just think it in the way of the distributive law. a into b b is this entire 2p thing plus a into c, c is 1, right, is going to be equal to a into b plus c, which is a into b plus c, a into b, which is 2p, plus a into c, c is 1, 3 can be written as 3 into 1, right a into b plus a into c is equal to a into bracket b plus c. So b is 2p, 1 is comes here and this becomes its factorization of this expression. 3, you can remove the multiply sign, 2p plus 1. So it's a product of 3 and 2p plus 1. Right? Our goal was to find the factors. So here one factor is coming as to be 3 constant and another factor is a expression itself which is 2p plus 1 right so 6p plus 3 these two terms separated by a plus sign is now broken into factors 3 and 2p plus 1 so this is its factorization right happy may sound confusing at the start but once you start practicing it becomes very simple it's just like how do you do factorization of your numbers whole numbers is very similar process Let's take another example. This time let me take a little bigger one. 15p square cube 
minus 24 p q square this square is with q this square is with p so first step let's try to take each term and break it into its irreducible form that is constants as prime factors and each of the variables into individual variables so we can write 15 as 3 into 5 right or 5 into 3 it doesn't matter 3 into 5 p square is nothing but p into p and q is like this so 15 p square q is written as always write bracket children so that separating of the terms across plus or minus sign becomes easier so bracket I'm just taking this term and I reduced it to 3 into 5 into p into p into q bracket close minus and again a bracket and reduce 24 24 if you do on copy try to find its prime factor you will get 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 right so that is 24 into p into q square is q into q right so this is the first step where we have reduced each term to its prime factors now try to find out common things you can see 3 p and q common between both the terms 3 p and q 2 is not here 5 is not this side and remember here even though there are two q only one q is common here and remember here there are two p's but only one p is common so 3 p and q are common across both the terms remember that the same distributive law a into b minus a into c is what a is common we can write it as a into bracket b minus c a into bracket b minus c same thing we can do it here also you can think this common thing between the both the terms as a okay so common is 3 p q and rest you can think as b here in this term and c in this terms so let's start it again we did break it into this we found out common things and let using the normal commutative law i took the common together so i 3 into 5 into p into p into q just took p q together because remember anything in multiplication if you do 5 into 3 into 2 you can write it as 2 into 3 into 5 also or 5 into 3 into 2 anyways so i just took p q together so that looking at common things becomes easier and 5 p after it but all within the bracket same thing i did here 3 p q together and then rest of the things 2 into 2 into 2 into q to at the second half of this product and then and it is very easy in your mind oh 3 p q is common between both the terms separated by the minus sign now using the distributive law a into b b is p 5 p in this case minus a into c c is 2 into 2 into 2 in, into q and what is a 3 into p into q i can take a out that is 3 into p into q into b minus c which is 5p minus 2 into 2 into 2 into q right a into b minus a into c is equal to a bracket b minus c b is this entire 5p c is this entire thing and a is this entire thing right and now remove the multiplication sides 3 into p into q is nothing but 3pq 5 into p is nothing but 5p and 2 into 2 into 2 into q is nothing but 8q right 2 into 2 4 4 into 2 8 right so this is its factorization of this expression 3pq is one factor and 5p minus 8q is another factor and the product of these two is its factorization right so that's all in this lesson children. Bye-bye.